Hey everyone, I'm Faze Ali doing a video for BerryBurst.com and today I'll be doing a quick little look at an application called PrintHand. It's got actually a really long name but I'm just calling it PrintHand. The full name is PrintHand Mobile Print Premium. Now this application is available in Blackberry World for $4.99 Canadian dollars. Currency will it will vary depending on the country that you're accessing Blackberry World from. But essentially what it lets you do is, it is an Android port, so disclaimer, but if you're on 10.2, it runs really well because of that hardware acceleration. Anyways, back to the app. The app is an Android port, but also it works pretty well. Now, it does let you print from your Blackberry device to your Blackberry 10 device to a wireless printer. Uh, and the printer could have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, it could be attached to a computer, so it technically doesn't have to be a wireless printer, but if it's a uh, network printer, it will work. So we'll just take a quick look at the application, some features, and we'll just dive right in. So, take a quick look. We can access immediately off the bat. This is the start screen. So, up top, I've already got my uh, printer set up in a, uh, an HP desk jet. Uh, let's wait for that to focus here. Uh, let's actually zoom in a little bit. And uh, so we can tap up here, we can do manage printers, and as you guys can see, recent printers, nearby Wi-Fi, USB printers, Google Cloud printers, as well as if we do printer setup wizard, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Now, the Android runtime right now for BlackBerry 10 doesn't support Bluetooth, it's currently blocked off, but in, early, uh, in later builds of 10.2.1 should unlock that. So for now, Bluetooth printer, not really working, but Wi-Fi, connect to a computer and uh, print server or hub does work. So I've already got it set up so we can back out of there. We can see files and uh, I'm actually going to go into my SD card and uh, show you guys a file. So I've got an essay here if I go into my documents. It's an essay I was working on. I've already handed this one in. but uh, So there's a file I want to print. All I do is open up the file. I'm assuming it's somewhere on my device, <laughs> and then I get like a preview of the uh, of the file. So that's page one. I can go back, and I can just scroll and see all the pages of the document. In this case, we've got eight pages, and we've got a nice little preview there too. So if we want to print the entire document, we'll just hit print. But if I want to print specific pages, I can hit say, let's say page three. Um, I want to print page 3 and just page 7. So let's go print page 3 and 7. So just two pages um, and I can hit print. Uh, but also I've also got some options. So at the bottom here we've got a just the default settings. I didn't change these. But if I go into options I can see I get a nice uh, selection of options. So paper. Uh, so it's on auto by default but there's a whole bunch of different options for uh, paper style. So it's quite a few. Some ones that you might be wondering are there if they're there. So A4 is there, that's common. Um, envelopes are there as well as there's another one. Yeah, the 5x7, 4x6, so photo cards are there too in case you were looking for those. Uh, so printer mode, normal, grayscale, high quality photo, high quality draft, that sort of thing. That's all there too. Uh, the tray, we can also set the tray. So printer default, that's what I kept mine on. Uh, but if, you're, if you've got a printer that has like a CD or DVD tray for example, or um, it's a multi-purpose tray, it will use whatever you selected. Mine's just on default right now. Uh, duplex mode, long edge, short edge, so it just flips, prints on both sides. And uh, printable area, so we've got two options, fit to paper size, fit to printer's printable area. And then we've got a couple of other options here, advanced. So printer driver, so these are all the printers that it supports, and I will link the, the uh, uh, there's an FAQ page on the website of the company that developed the app and they've got a list of all the supported printers so uh, chances are if it's a Wi-Fi printer and it's relatively recent it supports it now at the bottom here protocol uh, by default when I set up my printer it was on RAW R-A-W there um, now in order for me to get it working I had to switch it to IPP so make sure if your printer doesn't work but it does say that hey we found this printer it auto detected uh, would you like to set it up Go ahead, sure, set it up, go to printer options, change that to IPP uh, if it doesn't work on RAW RAW because that's the default that it starts off at. So we will just um, go ahead and hit print. 
and it gives us the copies selected and then I can print all just to select it or specific pages uh, so we'll just do selected and you guys will hear that is the printer in the background printing and I don't know if I have paper in there and yes it does so as that's printing you guys can see that it does show me a little bit of a progress so processing page 7 page 3 or whatever page I did was done and 30% uh, so it works pretty quickly but the neat thing is it's not just limited to files it's got integration with other uh, programs uh, and done so it's got integration with other things such as gallery web pages Google Drive Gmail email contacts uh, so I can just hit contacts and let's see what comes up yeah so my contact card I can print those out pretty easily um, Facebook which is nice because if I go into Facebook go into albums here I can see it already just brings all my albums in which is very nice and handy and convenient which is awesome also SugarSync and SkyDrive are incorporated now the only thing that I have to knock against this is really there are some other popular services like Dropbox box uh, that are not included in the list but overall it's pretty satisfied um, your files your pictures web pages uh, things like that they all print out and as you guys could hear in the background it's working it worked and well that was kind of it so the application is here in Blackberry world and uh, it is it's $4.99 if I can there we go so application is $4.99 and uh, they've updated it on December 5 so I believe that's when they updated it yeah so it's been around for a while but now it seems to have supported more printers and it just works better overall so I'm Faze Ali doing a special report for BarryBurst.com I'll see you guys in the next video